Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum dan salam ceria anak-anak semua Ok, hari ini kita akan uh, belajar chapter 6 Mathematics of Retailing So basically, uh, Mathematics of Retailing is just the continuation from the chapter 5 Iaitu Trade and Cash Discount So now you have all the concept and idea what is trade and cash discount how trade and cash discount is being calculated and now we will see in chapter 6 uh, there are few important terms that you need to know because we are going to use all the, these terms throughout the topic so the first one is the retail price so what is retail price cost markup markdown operating expenses net profit break even price and we will look into uh, one or two example on how to solve um, problems involving markup and markdown so when you want to fully understand this uh, whole chapter you put yourself as a business owner okay now you imagine yourself as a businessman or businesswoman so we call that a retailer so kita adalah retailer lah ya in this case so bila you are the retailer of course you want to get goods or item from the manufacturer or from the wholesaler so bila you get the goods or item from the manufacturer of course there is a buying activity takes place there between you and the manufacturer so bila ada buying activity kan so you buy the product from the manufacturer there will be a cost to you because apa because you have to pay some amount so there will be cost to you and then um, as a retailer you own a katakanlah you are the shop so bila you own a shop of course you have to pay rental and then you have to pay the uh, worker fees uh, utilities bills and uh, apa machine apa uh, sewa machine kalau you buat photo state kan contohnya eh? so that will be the cost to you also tapi dia masuk dalam category operating expenses so that is the example of operating expenses and then you want to sell back the item that you bought from the manufacturer to the consumer so bila you nak sell of course dalam kepala you apa as a business man or business woman mestilah kita nak apa profit margin so gross profit ataupun dipanggil markup so daripada selling price you tadi so retail price ni tadi sebenarnya adalah you punya selling price so the suggested selling price ya yeah? so macam mana you nak kira selling price you is based on the cost berapa harga you beli plus dengan berapa margin yang you nak lah ok and then kita akan dapat net profit lah kita akan tengok seterusnya in the uh, apa next few slide and then what is break even price so break even price is basically the harga pulang modal so berapa banyak you dah keluar duit untuk satu barang tu yang you jual tu uh, that will be the minimum price that you can offer to the consumer and then solve problem involving markup and markdown ok let's look at what is markup so as I mentioned earlier, markup tu adalah gross profit ataupun profit margin. Ataupun dipanggil dalam bahasa untung kasar. Eh? Untung kasar. So retail price is equal to cost plus markup. So cost you tadi, you beli barang kan daripada manufacturer and then plus dengan berapa markup margin you nak. So ada dua cara you nak tentukan dekat sini. Percentage of markup. Tengok kat sini ya, eh. percentage of markup maksudnya rate of markup Berapa persen you nak markup Harga katakanlah seribu, you nak markup uh, 50% So that is the percentage of markup So percentage of markup can be based on cost Ataupun based on retail price So kalau based on cost, dah akan jadi pengiraan dia M over C lah So dekat sini darat 100% eh, sebab dalam percentage 
about 100% and then for the second one ni based on retail price so bahagi dengan R lah so retail price tu adalah selling price you 100% ya yeah. alright kita tengok example katakanlah you you beli 1000 units of t-shirt pada harga RM5,000 so satu unit tu harga dia RM5 lah so you dapatkan dari manufacturer and then what to sell how much to sell kan berapa harga kan berapa harga you nak jual so you kena fikir berapa harga so you of course you akan fikir how to mark up eh macam mana berapa mark up you nak berapa mark up margin percentage of mark up ok contohnya dalam soalan ni dia mark up RM15,000 dia dah letak siap-siap so RM5,000 tadi cost yang you dapatkan dari manufacturer plus dengan mark up you tadi mark up amount equal to 20,000 ya untuk 1,000 unit so untuk satu unit of t-shirt dia akan jadi RM20 per unit so itulah harga selling you jual kepada consumer so bila you tengok kat sini you nak tahu pula what will be your net profit kan so mark up you dah ada mark up is the gross profit so what will be your net profit so you kena consider a few uh, a few element dalam operating expenses sebab you dah own business mestilah you ada beberapa uh, apa item that you kena ambil kira berapa kos yang you dah keluar contohnya you print you beli t-shirt kosong kan t-shirt tadi kosong saja and then you nak printed it okay you printed it on your own dekat you punya shop and then that will be the printing uh, printing t-shirt cost so how the cost of producing uh, printed t-shirt so you kena ambil kira lah dalam operating expenses and then you mestilah ada cost for labor kan labor wages so you kena bayar apa bulanan untuk salary untuk labor and then rental fees but you ada shop kan bila ada shop you kena bayar rental fee that all the item here will be comes into the operating expenses so you kena consider all the element here so katakanlah dia punya operating expenses uh, untuk per, untuk sold all the 1000 unit ni adalah 2000 eh 2000 so the net profit akan jadi apa mark up minus 2000 ni dapatlah 13000 so you punya net profit sebenarnya untung bersih untuk satu t-shirt adalah RM13. So this is the formula untuk cari uh, selling price eh, other than retail sum equal to cost plus markup. So markup ni break down into two. Satu adalah operating expense. Satu lagi adalah net profit. Alright. Okay kita tengok seterusnya Okay, bila you dah mark down After certain period of time Katakanlah uh, During inventory sale You nak buat apa? You nak buat promotion kan? You nak buat promotion You nak reduce the uh, Regular selling price So, katakanlah tadi harga RM20 kan per t-shirt So, you nak reduce You nak reduce the price RM20 So, kita dah belajar kan Kenapa Kenapa selalunya retailer dia nak bagi promotion? Kenapa dia nak offer promotion ataupun discount? Markdown ni adalah discount sebenarnya. Kenapa? Sebab dia nak increase the sale. Mungkin dalam inventory dia banyak eh tak tak habis terjual. So what he can do is to give discount. So katakanlah daripada RM20 dia dah reduce kan harga kepada RM12 per unit t-shirt sold. So, bila dia reduce kepada RM12, what will be the amount of discount? So, MD ni, markdown ni adalah amount of discount is equal to all regular uh, price minus new price lah. So, dekat sini yang lama punya, price lama tolak price baru. 
So amount of discount equal to RM20 tadi Tolaklah dengan RM12 You nak kurangkan jadi RM12 Jadi nak jual kan So the amount of discount is RM8 So what would be the percentage of markdown Maksudnya apa Discount rate lah ni So this is equal to discount rate eh? Ni ada lah Discount Discount rate yang kita selalu dengar 70%, 20%, 10% Okay, that is the percentage of markdown Maksudnya, amount of discount bahagi dengan harga asal Darab dengan 100 You dapatlah 40% So, dia dah markdown jadi 40% Okay So, discount rate dia adalah 40% Okay, let's look at the break even price So, break even price yang saya cakap tadi adalah The minimum price that you can offer to the uh, consumer atau customer But you tak boleh go below break even eh So break even ni adalah harga pulang modal eh So bila harga pulang modal There is There is no loss or gain Okay No loss Tak rugi tak untung Macam tu lah No loss or gain So macam mana nak cari dia Of course lah What will be your cost So whatever duit pocket yang you keluar That will be the break even price Okay C cost Maksudnya duit you keluar juga Operating expense Of course dari you punya company juga akan keluar duit So cost plus operating expenses Will be the break even price The minimum, pr minimum price that you can offer to the uh, buyer Alright If selling price greater than break even price Then you will You will get profit But if selling price less than break even price Then you will incur loss So what will be the maximum markdown Maximum discount that you can offer So maximum amount of discount that you can offer adalah Harga uh, jual tolaklah dengan harga Break even Harga minimum yang you boleh offer eh. So selling price minus The minimum price that you can offer Okay Tak boleh kurang Kalau you kurang maksudnya You akan incur loss lah So maximum discount at which retailer could offer Without incurring any loss Alright Kita tengok example A personal shopper bought a higher-end watch that is listed at $1,200 with a trade discount of 20% and 10%. So, dekat sini ada apa kelas? Dekat sini ada multiple discount or we call it chain discount. He then sells the watch at a profit of 40% based on cost. Okay, daripada sini you dah tahu the profit dia adalah 40% based on cost. And then the operating expense is 15% on cost. So calculate the gross profit. Okay, calculate the gross profit. So how to find the gross profit? Kita tengok dulu information yang dia bagi. Dia beli harga RM1,200. And then the trade offer adalah so berapa yang dia kena bayar. So list price. Okay, list price dia adalah RM1,200. Okay, this is not list price. Eh? This is you are L adalah RM1,200. This is the list price. So, this is net price. So, net price ni adalah cost kepada you eh. C. So, saya tulis kat sini C lah. So, the cost to you because you buy the product right. You buy the watch. So, you... Uh, bukan you kat sini personal shopper ni dia beli So personal shopper ni dia beli uh, Apa Watch tadi dengan harga RM1,200 Less uh, discount ni eh, Multiple discount So dapatlah net price dia adalah RM864 So RM864 adalah Cost that The personal shopper has to bear Dia yang perlu bayar So cost to him lah Alright, kita tengok pula how to find gross profit. So, gross profit is equal to berapa? Gross profit apa kelas? So, let us recall R equal to C cost plus markup. Okay. Uh, 
Ataupun lagi satu Cost plus Okay markup is break into two part right One is operating expenses plus net profit So gross profit adalah operating expense plus net profit So kita tengok kat sini Operating expenses dia adalah 50% on cost So 0.5 daratlah dengan cost dia beli tadi 864 Tambah And then for profit 40% on cost juga So 0.4 multiply by 864 you dapatlah 475 ringgit 20 sen So that will, this would be the markup for him And then B selling price So selling price C plus M lah Kita guna cost plus markup So dia nak jual balik jam tadi tu Dengan harga 1339 ringgit 20 sen Which take into account the Markup tadi kan 475 And then C The break even price So break even price apa kelas The minim, minimum price that the personal shopper can offer to his customer So minimum price yang dia boleh bagi adalah <coughs> 864 cost plus operating expense ya 129 ni tadi you kira 129 tadi This is the Operating expense Dapatlah 993 So the maximum Percentage of markdown Okay so Alan ni nak percentage eh Okay kita kira dulu amount Of discount The amount, the maximum amount of discount Retail minus Break even Prime So you dapatlah 345 ringgit amount of discount Maximum amount of Discount yang dia boleh offer So the percentage So amount of discount Bahagi dengan Harga asal Harga asal berapa Harga yang dia jual 1339.2 Darat lah 100 So the Maximum Discount that you could offer Adalah 25% 25.81% Okay, that's all. Stay tuned. Thank you.